So everyone should care for early warning services and uh, early action. We have started seeing growing amount of disasters and uh, by having proper early warning services we can uh, protect uh, lives, uh, we can protect the property, infrastructures and the biosphere. Therefore early warning and early action is uh, so vital. We need uh, constellation of, of observations to be able to uh, run these early warning services. We need uh, local ground-based observations which are very accurate uh, describing the local weather conditions. And then we need balloon uh, soundings to get the vertical profile of atmosphere. Nowadays we are also using aircraft. Many airline companies are having meteorological instruments on board. Then we have uh, satellite programs which are provided by mainly our big uh, members and also European countries as joint, uh, joint venture. And you need all of those as an input to these uh, weather forecasting models and, uh, and, and if, if you don't have, uh, for example, the local crowd-based observations, the, the quality of the forecast remains poor. That's the situation, unfortunately, in some of the regions uh, worldwide, for example, in Africa. Caribbean and Pacific Islands, we have two limited uh, observation networks and uh, that's having a negative impact on the, on the accuracy of uh, weather forecasts. And this uh, lack of uh, observations is having global impact. For WMO it's very important that our, all of our members have uh, proper observing systems and, and they, are, they have also proper early warning systems. And, and only half of our members have uh, state-of-the-art early warning services and uh, we have created a financing mechanism called SOF uh, Systematic Observation Financing Facility to enhance the amount of stations uh, in those uh, data sparse uh, areas. And we are lucky that uh, quite many countries have already shown interest to finance this activity and uh, we expect that uh, we will see more donor countries coming on board and that will be beneficial for less developed countries but it will be beneficial for all of our members. So we have been talking a lot about uh, climate mitigation to reduce the emissions of uh, especially carbon dioxide and also methane to protect us and uh, to, to mitigate the climate change. But it's also very important to pay attention to climate uh, adaptation. Uh, so we have, because this negative trend in climate will continue for the coming decades anyhow, meaning increasing amount of uh, disasters and weather extremes uh, and uh, sea level rise and uh, melting of glaciers may continue for the coming hundreds of years. And one very powerful way to adapt to climate change is to invest in early warning services uh, and WMO is uh, helping donor uh, organizations to invest in, in the early warning skills of, uh, of our members. I would like to wish you all a very happy World Meteorological Day.